One of the good things uh, about the environment that we're in now, as far as technology, is that we create and produce a lot of data. Now, that's a, a pro and also a con. It's a con because it makes it very hard to look at all that data. We have so many different data points that we need to be considering. But on the pro is we have so many data points that we can be considering, which means that we need when we need to make decisions, we have a lot of different things that we can look at to help us make informed decisions. The other good thing is that now we have AI, we have machine learning, we have all these really cool tools and technologies that can help us make informed decisions. Whereas in the past, we maybe had the data, but we didn't really know what to do with it. So for leaders today, I think data needs to be their friend. Now, I'm not advocating only making decisions based on data. I think there's still a role that leaders um, can play in looking at the different data points. There's still kind of the relationship. There's still a little bit of that gut feeling that's important. There's still that intuition. Those things are still crucial for leaders. But the good thing is that now when you make decisions, you can make it in a very informed way. Did you know that 96% of the people who watch videos on this channel are not subscribed? That's pretty crazy, right? Make sure that you hit subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get notified when more videos just like this one are released. And I've talked to a lot of CEOs who actually made decisions based on data that were wrong. And I ask them about this and I say, well, how did you feel about this? I mean, you made a very, very costly mistake. And their response is always, we made the best decision we could based on the data that we had. So based on talking to our, uh, our executive team, based on looking at the data points, we were informed that this is the course of action that we should take. And we took it and we made a mistake. We were wrong, but it's okay because it's not as if we made the decision in an uninformed and an ignorant way. Um, so mistakes still will happen regardless whether you use data or not. But I think that relying on data will help minimize those mistakes, uh, minimize those incorrect decisions. But there is still very much that role for human decision making combined with data that I think will improve that accuracy even more. But for a leader, data is your friend. And there are a lot of things that data can teach you. I mean, I remember one time I went to go speak at an organization and uh, after my talk, I met with their executive team team. And uh, this was a huge financial institution. And we were talking and we were talking about employee retention and engagement. And uh, one of the members of the team said, you know, something really interesting happens at this company after two years. Employees, that's kind of like the pivotal moment for them where either they stay or they leave. And I said, well, that's a really interesting thing. Why? What is it that's going on at that two year mark that is causing employees to either leave or stay? And they said, we have no idea. Right? They had no data on it. There was no people analytics, no data analytics on that. I mean, think about what makes an effective leader, what makes a productive team, what makes for an engaged workforce. These are all questions that you answer with data. And so if you want to create a more productive, a more engaged, a company where you create better experiences for your people, a lot of that is going to come from data. So make data your best friend.